Hey, people, it's Archwomp here, and welcome to episode 49, I believe, of Dagonrampa 2. Last time, we found out that Nekumaru was dead. Apparently, I predicted his death right from the start of the chapter. He shouldn't have brought that clock. That clock brought suspicion to my mind. And now, we're going to continue the investigation. Oh, and apparently, the Strawberry House elevator is broken, so they can't get the grape. So, Kazuishi's fixing it, so that's fun. You know, I kind of wish I was there, you know, just... How you were Fuyuhiko's freak out, come on, come on, Kazuichi, fix me out that damn elevator! And then, you get it where Kazuichi's like, I'm working as hard as I can, man, don't yell at me! And then you get Nagio, he's like, don't you worry, Kazuichi, as long as you have hope, everything's gonna be fine! This is the greatest hope, and we are stuck in this room, and then we're going to, and then Fuyuhiko's like, come on, Kazuichi! <laughs> okay, everything's good, everything's still recording. I hope Kazuichi can fix it, if not... Hey! Are you even listening? Bastard. Hey, are you listening? Damn right! Nagito, I'm talking- Oh my- Oh! Oh, where's Nagito's body? Ew, ew, ew! Get me out of him! Get me out of him! I don't want to be in Nagito! Ew, I don't want to play in Nagito! Nagito, I'm talking to you. Huh? Jeez! Don't harm me! I think you aren't even listening. Sorry, I was just thinking. Hm. You were probably thinking of something messed up, weren't you? But I had been listening to you. Nekumar was killed, right? Then that body discovery and I was referring to him. Damn it. Out of everyone here, it's just had to be Nekumar. Damn it. After all I went through to come back to us, damn it! How pitiful. It's tantamount to being killed twice, truly. With a man burned by terrible misfortune. But it's kind of weird. It's like some deja vu. It's like we're playing as Makoto again. Hey. Okay. Okay, so now that we know what the situation is over there, is it alright if we uh, go over and fix the elevator? Uh, if it's alright with you to wait a little bit, before you do that, we should- Did you call for Get me? Get the Monokuma for all right! <gasps> no! He's here! Now then! It seems you guys have noticed that the incident has taken place, so this is for you! Red bean bread and milk! Oh my gosh! Where did he go in the milk? Let's see it! Fight, fight, fight! And there's a bonus item! It's the Monokuma file! <laughs> Do your Come on, that's what you're happy with this, and do your very best on the investigation! Why is the Monokuma file being treated like a bonus item? <laughs> Whatever, man, let's just eat, eat your cup first right now! Damn right! You're right! It's, it's okay if you guys eat, but you can, can you hear me out while you're at it? What you is it? Well, I was thinking about what we, sh what we should do, and I wanted to discuss. Even so... Thanks to the killer, we can't go even go to the crime scene. We have to wait till Katsuichi fixes the elevator. True, but there's no doubt the killer is responsible. But it seems as though they made a huge mistake. There's no way the symbols of hope will give up because of this little setback. There's no way everyone will just cross their arms and wait for the class trial to start. We need to do everything we can on our end to prepare for the class trial, right? Well, well yeah. Fine. And it seems that we too shall be getting the investigation on our end. Though it remains unclear how much we can do. <laughs> is it acceptable? <laughs> if I show you my serious side, things will not end with me a child's play. Oh, I'm so glad! I knew you guys were pumped up from the start! How beautiful! Even though you guys are suffering from despair, I can see that you guys are still fighting for hope! Ah, such beauty! There's no higher honor for me to investigate this murder with you guys, so we need to be grateful towards Nekumara for becoming the foundation of this hope! But regardless, whose side shall I be on for this case? The killer? Or the rest of you guys? I would make sure I raise this case myself properly, and I'm going to find out what size the true hope! Ah! Uh, <laughs> investigate! Hey, you guys, why don't we try our arranging this sequence of events from this case, you know, so you can probably understand the situation we're in. Fine. I have no objections. Proceed. Then let's look back at what happened this morning. We tried to use the over so we could go over to say Monokuma Tai Chi, right? Damn right. Since we're staying at Strawberry House, in order for us to get to the means by Great Power, we need to use this elevator first and go to Great House. That was before 7 a.m., since it was right before Monokuma Tai Chi. Man. But once we realized the elevator was disabled, I seriously panicked. Anyway. And since we couldn't do anything about it, we just... I the inside the tower from Strawberry Hall. But whenever, when we actually got there, the button in the whole door was broken. Thanks to that, we couldn't enter the tower at all. <laughs> so Fuyahiko suggested that we use the phone called Red House. This and that was everything that happened this morning. I must say, I'm surprised. I never expected that the other would be disabled. But then how was Nekumaru able to go to Grape Tower? Man. Well, obviously he went there before the elevator was disabled. Well, he was in, well, he wasn't active, so it could have transferred over. Oh! 
The killer put him in the sleep mode and then dragged him using the core. They dragged him in from Strawberry House and then they killed him there with the hammer. That is when they then locked or but then that doesn't explain the pillar. And when was that? You and if we knew that we it wouldn't be this difficult. <laughs> No, we might know what time he went to the tower. You serious? But seriously? I... It was around sunrise. That's why I saw him going down to the first floor. What? You mean you personally witnessed that Kumaru going to the great tower? Hey, hey! When was the sunrise? Was it before the rumbling sound? No rumbling sound? Huh? What? You don't remember? Right after the clock in the last started ringing, we heard a rumbling noise. Did that clock even ring in the first place? Hey, hey, hey! You didn't notice that either! Seriously! That thing was super loud! Huh, that's weird. Hm. I feel like we're not quite on the same wavelength. Well, it is what it is. There's no point way you guys will ever be on the same wavelength this trash like me. <laughs> Looks like this is leading to an interesting development. Okay. Let's talk to Kazuichi. Hey, Kazuichi, if you don't mind, can you inform me? That stuff about a rumbling noise and the ringing clock. What is that all about? Seriously, you don't know? You're so kind, Kazuichi. Thank you for actually taking the time to explain it to me. Uh... <laughs> Hmm, so that's how it is. Fine, I'll tell you! It happened last night! I was sleeping peacefully in my room when all of a sudden, I heard this huge sound! <laughs> the hell?! The sound was super loud, so I rushed out of my room! And when I went down the hall towards the lounge... Hey! Hey, what are you what? doing?! This rock is... It's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice! Don't go making all that noise so suddenly! It's not me! The wall clock just started ringing! I was just trying to stop it! Then hurry up and stop it already! I... I, I know! I'm in the middle of doing that! <laughs> that's an episode of the Three Stooges! And that's when I finally stopped. Uh, Man! Man, that was totally freaked me out! Well, I'm definitely wide awake now! What did you do My to mental me? defenses were bombarded with sonic resonance. Who are you, Hiko? Was this not your duty just now? Shut up! Why would anyone do something so childish? Huh? You must have rushed over after hearing the sound, but you sure seem to get here pretty fast. Well, yeah. Well, I didn't rush over here. I was at the lounge by coincidence. Coincidence? Mm -hmm. Huh? What? What? You got me? Hey. Whatever. I don't really give a crap. It's about 3 a.m. Aw, man. Man, thanks if we go. I woke up early for no reason. I should go back to sleep. Huh? Huh? What was that sound? What's going on? An earthquake. So it wasn't... Kazu. Okay, so it wasn't Kazuichi. I don't believe. If they have it, if I okay, good. Kazuichi's cleared. So then, maybe the one of the girls came from the elevator and just smashed it up. Then they brought in the body, and then they no, the door would so we. I'm not sure how this happened. This pressure. It did not feel like it shook. Hey, 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 I can't believe you stopped playing it at me. Hmm. And that's what happened. I see. So you're the one playing to fool. So you're the one who's who's claimed to fool you. That's the important what? part. And what happened afterwards? Did you guys separate? Hey. We decided to wait things out, but in the end, nothing else happened. Also, and after that, we felt really weak, so we decided to go back to our rooms for a while. Hmm, I see. Yep. What you just said right now was extremely important. Thanks to you, that I'm, though I'm one suspicious person. What? Who are you talking about? Sorry, I accidentally pressed the B one. Oh, this is actually pretty cool! You can save the game, but you can't do a war cards, presents, or truth bullets. You have question marks. Me! Me, of course. Huh? Huh? I mean, isn't it strange? I was the only one who didn't notice an alarm that was so loud. Everyone else came out of the rooms. Well, the same goes for the rumbling noise that you guys heard after that. Why, you? Hey, you better not be trying to confuse the crap out of us. Of course I'm not, for now. Hey, hey, hey. That for now why is what making us even more worried! Anyways, it seems like there's no what, no doubt that you guys just told me was a very important thing. The wall called alarm you first heard, and the rumbling noise that came right after. Now then, how did these noise relate to this case? Do we get truth bullets? I mean, if this is going to, I believe, oh, it's going to Hajime's notebook? Let's talk to Fuihiko. Hey, you said you witnessed that Nekumaru at sunrise, right? Can you explain that to me in a little more detail? I... I was so hungry yesterday that I couldn't sleep. I figured it was nearly in the morning, so I went to go check the clock in the lounge. It turned out it was totally off. It, it was until around 5 a.m. Hey! And that's when it happened. I heard the sound of the door closing off in the distance. When I stuck my head out of the lounge. Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting <laughs> that. 
Okay, he was going down to the lounge. He went down to the lounge. And then, he went there on his own. Okay. It makes sense that the killer used the, used the elevator. I thought about running after him, but I didn't have the energy of willpower to do it. If I knew something like this would happen, I would have mustered the strength to follow him. Hey, hey! But why would Nekumara wander off so early in the morning? I, I was wondering about it too. I mean, I already knew it. I wasn't going to get any sleep. So I just sat in the lounge. There are space for no real reason. And wait for him to come back. Jeez. And that's when the clock in the lounge has ringing. Thanks for that alarm. That alarm. I completely forgot about Nekumara until just now. Then from the time you saw Nekumara until the alarm rang, you were at the lounge the whole time. But what were you doing during that time? What were you doing during that time? But one thing is, why was Nekumara going down to the lounge in the first place? By chance, were you thinking about everything that's happened so far and getting choked up? What? what? Huh. I was right. Of course not, <sighs> asshole! You're completely wrong! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're absolutely right. And I thought you were reminiscing about Pekka or something. But that can't be right. After all, you already know how pointless it is to cling to memories of the dead. Where'd he go? Yep, I get it now. Thanks for everyone's detailed information. I'm fully starting to get grasped in the situation. I'll put the events in Karl Oscar order. We go with this Nekumaru around 5 a.m. At that time, Nekumaru apparently went down to the first floor. At 5.30 a.m., the alarm clock in the lounge started ringing. That's what happened. You two woke up and you left your room to go to the lounge before Yuhiko was. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Let's make history. Now that I think about it, something might have happened to Nekumaru during that noise. I, I believe it was the pillar dropping. But in that case, Nekumaru would have had to use the elevator to get to Grape Lounge. Someone couldn't have been hiding in from the... What? It, it couldn't have been a guy. It couldn't have been one of the guys because... I don't think that Guido killed. I mean, we're playing as him. And plus, he's not Guido. The other guys all have airtight alibis. So it had to be one of the girls. So it's shifting back to Grape. Then it would have to be the Strawberry. Uh, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so confusing. If so, this must have been Nekumaru's final scream before he breathed his last. Hmm. Hold on, if Nekumaru died while we heard that sound, doesn't that mean we have an alibi? Alibi? I mean... When we heard that rumbling noise, we were at the lounge, you know? If that's what the killer murdered Nekumaru, then we have a solid alibi! But then again, my, we thought that Mikan had a plan, had a solid alibi, but she didn't. She used that alibi to her advantage. I don't think they do the same thing twice, though. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> you might need to soon to declare that just yet. We can't be certain unless we first clip the mystery sign of that rumbling noise. <laughs> rumbling noise. <laughs> hey, did something fall? Have you fall over something? Yeah, the pillar. Also, based on what everyone told me, there's another thing I'm curious about. You are that alarm clock in the lounge golf over the rumble. What do you suppose that means? Hey! Hey, we haven't talked enough! I really think we should repair the elevator soon! Oh my, you're still here! <laughs> what the elevator is? I'm not gonna let you anywhere near it! And so Kazuichi ran down the stairs, complaining for some reason. So what should we do now? Ah, there's something I wanted to do. Not the other there's something I want you to investigate. Huh? Oh, wait, the clock's in the first floor lounge. It's a booth grave house, the strawberry house. But right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Huh? Not why. I'll tell you later. Hey, bastard. Fine, but you are asking me. You can investigate that yourself. I would investigate myself, but by the time the other research, there's a chance I might not be with you all anymore. Huh? huh? Anyways, I'm not kind of like, oh, he's got to investigate the final dead room. That bastard doesn't make any sense. Now then, here comes the main event. There's only one thing I can do for them, and go to that place for everyone's sake. I can't let them face that danger. I must be the pariah who goes in their place. That's it. I should investigate one more time before the other and the door at the far back. This is not totally blocked off. Okay. Let's go down to the first floor. Oh, so the door is really broken. Well, why would they chain it? Uh, oh, to probably make it where it could open all on itself manually while it's on the Grape Tower section. It's a terribly hard door to release the power. The button is broken. There's no way it'll open. As I recall, based on what Fuyiko told Hajime over the phone, the other side of the door is also barred with chains. And he must have been really cautious to go through the trouble of barring the door from both sides. Holy crap, it seems a little suspicious. Let's make his the killer's game. intent. I can't think of only one explanation. Ah, Gundam! <laughs> Perhaps they intend to keep me from entering the scene of the crime. Listen well. Which means the killer was afraid, afraid of the conclusion from promised by my assumptions. Yeah, that was probably it. Strawberry hall door button. 
I guess they're probably going to. Oh, you can't level up. That's a little sad. So you guys do the elevator. I press my next to the elevator. The door should open so I can mine it. But nothing happens when I press it. Looks like it's definitely broken. <gasps> hey, what are you doing? You're getting in the way of my repairs. Hey, why did the elevator break in the first place? Yeah. Oh, the kill not books in the safety device. Look, you can see that silver cover under the button? It looks like that so the elevator is control panel. They probably opened up and messed with the settings. But the cover is locked, so they wouldn't have been able to go down unless they had some kind of tool. Hmm. Are there any tools hmm. are there any tools in this uh. building? No, there shouldn't be. I don't really know if they forced to open with a tool anyways. The control panel on this side wasn't the one that was forced open. I see. It's the control panel on the greyhouse side that's open then. Yeah. The one on this side is open. That's the only thing I can think of. I'm pretty sure that it's a control panel over there too. But the elevator is stuck on the greyhouse side. What does that mean? Last person to use it went to the great uh, it's, it's official. The elevator was disbarred from the other side. Hey, hey I don't have time to go with the car, but go anyway. I'm trying to do repairs without any tools. I don't have any time to get it. won't be up. Wait, Nekumar will break the button or something? If you don't have the tools, then why don't you use this? Huh? Hmm? Whoa! Is that multi tool? What do you get something like this? I had with me before we even arrived at the fourth island. If we're going to one island, it's essential to bring this kind of equipment, right? You serious? Okay, like you the one around with a dangerous tool this whole time? Huh? Is this there's something wrong? Uh, it's nothing! Now what you have this now what you have this, your repairs might go faster now. But exchange, I want you to do something. Uh, what? That multi tool is a compass. After the elevator is fixed, I want you to ride the elevator and see how the compass reacts. What the hell for? Well to be honest, there's something I still don't understand, regardless of uh, the structure of this building. So please, you really need this information to find out the relationship between the building and the elevator. Huh? I don't really get what Well, as long as I'm just checking the compass, I don't mind. I'm glad then I'll leave the rest of you. The elevator door. Turns up, there's no mistaking it. The elevator on the strawberry door looks like they've been completely broken. I didn't expect the contact elevator to be there from the great house. As long as it's disabled, there's no way to move between houses. Which means the person who disabled the elevator would be stuck at the great house. That person should still be at the great house, but. You know, it's too stupid for an answer, but I won't be too late to find the answer, even if after I finish adjusting that room. The final dead room. My guess is that it deactivates after the first after the first incident. Like after you, like it's a first come first serve sort of thing. The final dead room. Only those who win the life threatening game contained within will reach the octagon. Inside the octagon, the ultimate weapon awaits. There's no doubt Nekumar's killer has been to that place. No matter where I search, there is no weapon anywhere in that building. Regardless of the weapon used to kill Nekumar, the killer must have been used there. If that's the case, I should get going. Or uh, I'm. I, this is a stretch. This is a stretch. Maybe, maybe Akane is the killer, and she accidentally killed Nekumaru when she did training. She took weapons from this area, because we saw her earlier with him. So maybe she took it, and they went, they were there for training. She then killed, she then accidentally, she went a little too far with her training, and killed him, knocking him into a pillar. That then caused the pillar to collapse and fall on top of him. Also, unlike everyone else, I don't mind dying at all. That's all the more reason why I should go. Though so perhaps it's Akane who's the killer. What is this? I'm so I see, so this is the final It looks something out of a Saw movie. Is Makumaka coming riding a tricycle? It feels a little eerie. Hope I don't get scared. Did the door just lock? I see the door's not on like lock. It's not like I would. It's not I would have. It is not I would have taken back if I stayed unlocked. Oh, 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 I thought the door was open. Now it's locked again. I figured you'd turn up since I haven't seen you in a while. I never expected to see you here. Yeah. Nagito? Huh? Why was that just a dangerous place? Same as you. Why are you here? I. Oh, I heard the boy discovered now. Sometimes I thought something happened in this room. And you got locked when you came inside. You're a fool for head to toe. <laughs> oh, I'm truly ashamed. I'm well, not that care. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Um. Get in your way. The life threatening game is going to start soon, right? It'd be annoying if you got in my way. Oh, you were to do it? Well, if I don't, I can't get out of here, right? That's like the only way trash like me can be useful is by risking my life for everyone else. That's right! You're wrong! Nakito is not trash at all! There's no such thing as a human being who doesn't deserve to live! <laughs> uh, have you ever met Taka? If you met Taka, you would be you would be just showing those words away. You'd be eating those words. I know I've been having a lot of warming right now, but my heart is super scared and pounding like crazy! Are you sure you're not just excited? You know, it is exciting to think that I can finally be useful to take of those who show their hope. Now then, how about the so-called light-threatening game? Escape. 
Alrighty! It's okay, don't. If there's anything you don't get, just ask me. By all means, I'll help you make sure you get out of here. Give it to don't me! Don't escape, gang! That sounds like something a teacher would say, but she shouldn't expect too much from her. What, what is this? Monokuma doll! It's Monokuma plushie. You want me to punish you guys? You guys want me to punish you? It looks like this much talks so when you squeeze it. Thrills, chills, kills! Yeah, thrills, kills, chills! Why is that Monokuma now for the special price of only what? Ten thousand dollars! Oh, what an advertisement! Watch the news. Three. What's this laptop? It's a laptop. Looks like it's on, but it's locked, so I can't really ask you. Uh, it doesn't look like we can put the password now. Are you going to turn it on? It's locked, it won't open. Why? Huh? These might be useless ones, so I should grab it. I came pliers. Unga press password. <laughs> this looks like some kind of password. I got it! The first letter of today is the week of the password. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yep, I got it that simple. TV. The television looks broken. Okay. I'm sure I have to import no board. I'm just gonna find you with M999 password guard. It's just that you open. I'll leave the mindless one coming in. Oh, I'm gonna ask what password open is. I'm feeling that the hoop is close by. No. I'm gonna search around. The bed? There's something shining under the bed. Hmm, I can't read you. It looks like the bed's fixed to the floor. I can't even move it. There's something thin and long? Hmm, is there a closet somewhere? There's something random blood. Um, it's just a number five. Ah! Wait, it might be useless. I'll just die just in case. Watch the news. Five, three, six, seven. Five, three, five, three, six, seven. Five, three, six, seven. Five, three, six, seven. If you think I watch the letter is written back here on top. The news. The news. Okay, three, five, three, five, three, six, seven. Let's do this. Okay, five, three, six, seven. Leave it to me. If you don't know something, just don't me anytime. Watch the news. Watch the news. Might as well look under the bed again. He's not trying under the bed. I can't reach it. Looks like it's bed. Something in long. It should be coming thin sick. I'm trying to. How do I do it? I'm clicking on with the A button. How, how do I change it? Okay, talk, examine, check item. Set item. Okay. Oh. Ah! Maybe I need to use the pliers on the coat hanger. I'll tell you why. Okay! Uh, I'm trying to do it. Use this. On the bed. I the right key. Ease. Who knows? Oh, this is pretty cool! Oh, 
looks broken. Okay. Okay, I'm trying. Sorry, force of habit. Looks like nothing in here anymore. Uncompressed password. Oh. I'm trying to just use the key. Come on, use the key. Us is if you use this thing on virus. You're joking, right? Or is that supposed to be in your kid? I'll take the scissors. Ah, it's a laptop. Looks like it's on, but it's laughing. Huh? Okay. You want me to punish? Hmm? Thrills, champ! Ooh. Ah, perhaps. If I use them on the Markuma, I can over. already. Ah, I didn't need any grannies. Hmm. What a lot of things. Cut over, cut over. So what's something? A pink battery. Yeah ha! I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and knock it out. Let's see. Maybe if I put him in the TV, it's something looks broken. It's a laptop. I don't know, batter. Okay, batteries. The laptop looks like it's on, but it's locked. Because we don't like those three on bars. Alrighties! He's under lid, but doesn't he open. Oh. Hmm. Three. There's something really blue on the wall. Hmm. Looks like it's number three. This blessing was all over. But maybe you can buy it with something else. The blood at the heart. Um. Looks like number five. Seven, six. Seven, six, three, five. The letter news show the direction. Okay, seven, six, five, three. Seven, six, five. Three. Leave it to me. Okay. I'm gonna ask you. I'll ask you, Sonny. What is it? Hmm. You look at the traffic super saving those letters. Oh, oh, oh! That's right! You're right, the whole time this is just in my time. I should look at the safe person those letters are in the blood. In those in blood. Watch the news. Seven five Six. Okay, I'm gonna say five, six, three, seven. Six, three, seven. Okay. Leave it to me. What is it? Six. Six. Five. Seven. Three. Leave it to me. What is it? What is it? 
Watch the news. Five. Oh! It's a thing that. Watch the news. Bring up the TV. Six, seven. Ah, it's a six, seven. Six, seven, five, three. Just watch the news in blood. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna get this right to look at. I just see what's a pretty common one. What's a common one? You don't you know what it means? That's a common riddle. What, what riddle? I've never heard this riddle. Watch the news. Channel 5 News. Watch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 3. Is it 5376? Oh, come on, what is it? Leave it to me! What is it? What is this riddle? Wait, play four. Um. Oh, I didn't see that four. Oh! North. Oh! North, east, west, south. So probably, if the door is facing that, the first number would be four. Okay, I'm gonna write this down, I'm gonna write this down. First number should be four. North, East, if you assume that, that this is North, East would be 6, West would be 5, and okay, Four, six, five. What would be south? What would be south? Oh, probably seven. So yes. So the, if my thing is correct, the code should be... Okay. Let's see, just making sure. Hopefully this is correct. Four, six, five, seven. What? Leave it to me! Oh! Um... Oh! <laughs> what the? Man! I'm Dim. It's three six five seven. Three six five seven. Okay. I thought that was a four. Okay. Three six five seven. Leave it to me. Ah! Okay, we're assuming three is north. East would be six. We are all, we're then going to assume west is five. And that south is seven. But I, I don't know. Things are getting a little late. So I'm going to just look into this. I'm going to do a little experimenting. And then I'm just going to see if everything works out. Okay. 
So anyways, I really appreciate that you took around to watch this video. You're a great viewer and I hope you come back. I'm sorry. I really... I re eh, sorry. Thank I really appreciate you sticking around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer and I hope you come back for the next one. If you'd like to be a like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever that you want. And with that, I will see you later. I'm oh, sorry. Eh, I'm out of it. Sorry, sorry. I really appreciate that you sticking around to watch this video. This episode, you're a great viewer and I hope you come back for the next one. If you'd like to be a like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever that you want. And with that, I will see you later. Bye.